This Remembrance Day, many of us are wearing a poppy as a symbol of remembrance. In this edition of This Week in Science, Dan Riskin joins us with five things you don't know or didn't know about the poppy. Dan, welcome. Great to be here. Um, uh, we only wear the red poppy on right. Remembrance Day, but there are many different kinds of poppies. There are like more than 70 different kinds of poppies. I had no idea. I mean, I went for the deep dive when I started preparing yeah. for this segment, <laughs> and I learned a lot of things I didn't know. So one, the poppy that grew in Flanders Fields and still grows in Flanders Fields is the common poppy or the corn poppy that is different from the opium poppy, which right. is so important economically and ha for making poppy seeds, but yep. also for making opium and all the things that come from opium. So there's all these different kinds of, of poppies and that's important to remember. Okay, so let's go down that rabbit hole. Poppy seeds on bagels, very, yeah. very popular, yes. uh, but illegal in certain places. Yeah, illegal in certain places because of the threat that people will take their bagel and take the seeds off of it and grow poppies. And those would be the opium poppies that make drugs. And the opium is actually just the uh, the sap of the plant. And so if you take a, a, a flower mm -hmm. and you cut it, it bleeds sap. Yep. That is opium right there. And that has all kinds of compounds in it that the plant makes because it doesn't want to be eaten by caterpillars. Mm -hmm. But those chemicals happen to have different effects on humans, and humans have known this for a long time. Okay, talk to me about those uses, especially specifically the medicinal uses of poppies. Yeah, so poppies, so there's opium, and you can, and opium can be uh, modified through chemistry, and you can make everything from heroin to morphine to codeine to oxycodone, even naloxone, the thing that's used sure. to treat overdoses, that comes wow. from poppies. And so, and you can't make these in a lab without you starting with the flowers. And so that's the really interesting thing to me is that we still need the flowers to get all these, you know, you think it comes from a hospital, but it comes from a field where they're growing poppies. Yeah, I think a lot of people assumed a lot of those, those medicines and drugs that you referenced, I, a lot of people just thought that they were all completely synthetic. Right, and they're not yet. People are working on that because it would be nice to take the flowers out of it so you didn't have these giant fields mm -hmm. of potentially heroin producing you know, plants. Um, and so there are, the University of Calgary for example, has a lab where they're trying to take the genes that make those compounds in the flower and put them into yeast, so you can just grow yeast and it'll make all those compounds for you. Okay, well let's uh, let's let's change tax a little bit. 2004, a special quarter came out. Yeah. Uh, which anytime I get one of these, uh, I feel a point of pride. T talk to me about I the think, history of this quarter. I think that was a great move too, because you do notice it. It stands out. And in fact, when this came out in 2004, it was the first. Uh, coin in circulation by any country that had color like that. And of course, we've seen other coins since then, but this was the original one. And so if you're a coin collector, this would be a good one to throw into the, uh, into the box in the attic or wherever you keep your coins. But that red poppy, it was to uh, remember 100 years since the start of the First World War. Only about 30 seconds left. We wear the poppy to remember. Uh, the Brits do it as well. We're not the only ones in the world. And, and I, I just assumed that this was a Commonwealth thing, but that's not the case. No, in fact, so uh, In Flanders Fields was written by a Canadian who was uh, in battle in Belgium, in Ypres, and, uh, and he noticed that there were flowers growing in where people were buried. And this is, this is the biology of the poppy. When you turn the soil, you're tilling the soil. That's when poppies come up. So if you're digging a trench, uh, you get poppies. If you're burying people, you get poppies. Yeah. And so that's where it comes from. And it's remembered uh, all through the Commonwealth, but also in those countries where those battles took place, Netherlands, Belgium, France, places like that. Dan Riskin, uh, I didn't know I didn't know that much about, <laughs> about poppies. Thanks for filling me in. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.